Well, to talk more about the farmer protests, these measures taken by the Delhi police and their plans, uh, we are joined by Avik Saha, national convener of the Jai Kisan Andolan, and Prakash Chandra Sharma, national vice president of the BJP Kisan Morcha. Avik Saha, first to you. Uh, first, let's talk about these measures that have been taken in Delhi. And, you know, it's led to a lot of anger. A lot of people have questioned the measures, but many have also said this is because of what happened on the 26th of January, that now you need these kind of, you know, cement blockades, uh, nails, even, uh, you know, uh, barbed wires being put up. I think the government is uh, tackling farmers' mobilization. They're gathering in great numbers by mobilization. So, uh, in a way, an elected government of India is at war with its citizens. It's a very strange sight to see. Uh, so far as the farmers' organizations are concerned, we have decided uh, that peace and continuous peace is our way forward. We actually believe that the government will soon see sense and will not uh, try to win this disagreement with the farmers through force. Uh, let's hope that's what happens. So far as the farmers are concerned, uh, peaceful civil disobedience will continue. And uh, we believe that uh, sooner or later, there will be an engagement with the government to uh, come to a solution on this problem. All right, we'll get to the engagement in just a moment, but, but Prakash uh, Chandra Sharma, your reaction to these measures that have been taken uh, by the Delhi police at all the three protest sites, at Ghazipur, uh, Singhu, and at Tikri, uh, putting up all these cement barricades and uh, the wi barbed wires as well. Kargi, see, if we have to see the present scenario, what happening around the borders, we have to go to the past. We have to, to go how this, uh, the farmer agitation and so-called the Sayyid Kisan Murcha did with the government and with the Delhi police. Delhi is the population more around 2 crore people and they, they have their own civilian rights. So what about their rights? And what uh, they just made agree on the 36 points, they have not achieved any single one and they violated it and uh, in the resulting, what happened, all the nation got simmed on the tricolor and all the incident. Apart from that, it, it's like we can't control the democracy with this uh, the kind of things. Just putting, gathering the people, like uh, agitation to be there, it's okay. Dharna Padashan to be there, it's okay. The, like, but we have to be law abide. Mr. Avik is saying, like he's saying, the very same full uh, condition is there. He's saying the war against the citizen. How you can say about, like the government is patient fully, the Delhi police is patient fully tackling all the issue. We have seen it. Like they have not fired. Rather, more than 300 uh, this, uh, police uh, people got injured. What happened? The visuals are there. Then also, if you can't realize the things, if you can't see the things, and you have only perception just to make the anarchy, just to develop the anarchy, like the nation is really same on you, Mr. Avik. Right. So you're saying it's justified, these kind of measures that the Delhi police is uh, taking, uh, you know, to uh, stop any, any future sort of farmer protest or movement into Delhi? Very much. See, what happened, we have seen it because, uh, like, they don't have the particular leader. They have a different kind of leader and uh, the, the, the day, they have just, uh, forcefully, they have just uh, targeted to achieve the tractor rally. It was a very big conspiracy by them and no control was there. No hold was there. They are just calling the people. They are misguiding them. They are not in a position. You see, it is a matter is there. The yesterday budget also, we have seen what happened on particular farmer's bill. What happened? What is the commitment of the government? Like, if you don't believe on that commitment, if you just, uh, verdict is there just to achieve something that is in your mind, so that rigidness will not be accepted. All right, Avik Saha, your response to that, the fact that, uh, you know, on the 26th of January, it was clear that the farmer leaders, uh, those who were engaging with the government, did not have control over, you know, all the protesters. And then we saw what happened at, at the Red Fort. And uh, because of this, now such measures are being taken. The government is uh, very well aware that the Sayuk Kisan Morcha, I don't know why Mr. Sharma called it so-called Sayuk Kisan Morcha, but I suppose that's a measure of, you know, verbal abuse and uh, discrediting your opponent, but it's all right. The government is aware that this is a conglomeration of 500 organizations. 95% of all parades on Republic Day took place exactly as per the plan, completely peacefully. That narrative the government is silent on. And Mr. Sharma doesn't want bheer. So, you know, in a democracy, unless Mr. Sharma is pushing the country towards monarchy, bheer is the rule 
of law. Pe you listen to people because they are here. And uh, on the comparative two crore Delhi versus 70 crore farmer, we are not battling the people of Delhi. The government of India has chosen not to engage with the farmers. The government of India has become very irascible and is arrogant and not in a mood to, uh, to understand the point of view of farmers. In such circumstances, farmers sitting at a place doing dharna is very much part of the democratic culture of this country. Mr. Sharma is sitting in independent India because such dharnas took place, such blockades took place, such fasts took place. So if he doesn't and, like uh, the way India is and the so way... So I'll the just come to you. I operate. want to ask about the plans going forward on the 6th of February. Now this Chakka Jam has been announced. Uh, Chakka Jam has been announced yesterday. Uh, we are planning to do it in a way so that there is least inconvenience to the people. If you notice the timing, 12 to 3 is the lowest traffic time. So the idea is not to battle the other people of India. The idea is to make the government see that we are very determined to achieve what we believe are just rights for farmers. And in that, we will continue with civil disobedience in whatever way that causes least inconvenience to the people of this country. Prakash Jandra Sharma, your response? See, Garvi, one thing is very clear. Yes, we are through this dharna and pradeshan. The government has a long this background of the country, the history of the country. We have seen so many protested. But this is not the way in this particular 21st century, the way they are doing. The government, the particular Delhi police has given them the identified place. If they have a power, they should go. They should not do this kind of things. That is not acceptable. Otherwise, apart from that, he is talking about the monarchy. Because see, because they people, the so-called Sayyuk Kisan Murcha, why I'm saying so-called? Because in India, more than 800 farmer associations are there. So they are also, the, the most of them, and many large number of them, they are also in support of that. Apart from that, yes, they have some disagreement with this uh, particular uh, uh, Kisan bill. So why, why don't they put come to the point to point? What is the harm to them just to talk on a All very All right, point, I'm completely out of time. Point. Avik Saha, one last word from you. If this is a Kisan bill, it will have to be enacted in consultation with Kisan. Mr. Modi cannot call it a Kisan bill and tell the Kisan that he they have to accept it because he has made it. That's not the way democracy works. Stakeholder consultation is required, which has not happened in this case. And therefore, these bills have to be repealed. And that's the demand. And we will continue to persevere in peaceful protest till that, uh, is object that objective is achieved. And when are you going to have more talks? Or any indication on that? Waiting for the government. All right. Well, we'll have to leave it there. Waiting for the government. Uh, the Kisan uh, leaders say they're willing uh, to talk uh, with the government. Meanwhile, uh, raising questions about the kind of measures taken in Delhi to contain the protests and the protest sites. As you can see those visuals there, there are spikes in the roads. Uh, there are uh, uh, small walls of cement that have been put up as well. And uh, the police are out in full force.